Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video I decided to talk about why I chose to order the Mercury 3S linear amplifier. And also I want to talk about the ordering process to getting one. A disclaimer for this video, I have no affiliation with the owner Kenny of km3km.com website. He produces those Mercury 3S amplifiers. This is strictly my opinion and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello guys, welcome to my desktop and I'm going to talk about why I chose the Mercury 3S amplifiers and number one, I think overall in the package, it's the best bang for your bucks. All right, basically you get a, a lot of good features and the price is not as, well it's expensive, but not as quite expensive as some of the other competitors. Let's take a look of currently what I have in my Radio Shack. And uh, this is a, a YouTube video that I made on the OM2000 Plus. And if you haven't seen it, you can check on that link above. So this is what I primarily use at my home QTH. And, um, and but when I'm operating remote, because this amplifier is not an automatic switching, I don't use this unless I'm at the control point where I can actually manipulate those uh, controls. All right. So another amplifier that I have is an Acom 1000. It's this amplifier right here. And I currently um, destroyed the transformer, but that's another story. So I've shipped that off for warranty repair and we suspect that the transformer is blown, but it's under warranty and we will have to receive a new transformer from Bulgaria. So the ACOM 1000. Another advantage is the size. Let's take a look at the size. All right, uh, let me find that out. Uh, here's the operation manual. So this is the Mercury 3S, okay, the user manual. And they're looking at the size. It's 12 inches in width and 13 and a half inches wide or long. And the height is five and a half inches. And look at that weight. It weighs 28 pounds versus most of the amplifiers that I have, uh, like the OM2000 and the the uh, the Acom 1000. Those things are double the weight of the LD MOS. So I chose this route to order one of these Mercury 3S. And an advantage is, man, this thing, what other people are saying, it looks so beautiful on their desk. The display, let's take a look here. Um, I saw a screen display here. All right, so it's colorful. It's seven inches diameter and it's color and it's touch screen. It's also has the RF band uh, decoding they call it RF band decoding it's like RF sensing so when you change bands they say that this mercury 3 will automatically change to the correct band you have three antenna with memory and it puts out uh, about 1200 watts people use 1200 watts but if you want to be more conservative I mean 800 watts is good enough right and it's uh, 1200 watts limited on the sideband and CW. Uh, if you're using digital mode, it's uh, 700 watts, and as you can see there, 700 watts. Okay, now you want to know the price. Man, best bang for your bucks. Let's take a look. All right, let's start with the 
DX engineering, okay? Remember this Mercury puts out about 1200 watts, so let's find something compatible with that. This Acom 1000, $3,600 plus. This one here puts out 1000 watts PEP, okay? $3,600, Acom 1000. The OM power that I have, this here, now this is gonna push legal limit, you know, 1500 watts, but look at that price. And it's on sale. It's on sale. It's uh, 4150 or $4,150. And that's a lot of money. That OM2000 is huge. And watch the videos, um, my future videos, uh, not future videos, my past videos. And you can see that thing on my desk. So late, lately I relocated off to a cart. All right, so we got the $4,000 of the OM, $4,150. Then you have the Acom 3600, okay? And then if you guys like uh, the MFJ products, Amatron, all right? Uh, here, AL800. This is 1250 watts PEP. It's, they call it near legal limit. But again, that's $4,000. Look how big that thing is. Oh my God, that's, I bet you that thing's heavy. I don't know the specs, but it looks beefy and heavy to me. Where do you order this? It's easy. Go to the website km3km.com. Boom, right there. Kenny Martinez. So he's got a vanity call sign, so it's easy to remember. This is his homepage, all right? KM3, KM, ham radio parts. Uh, look at this. They got something coming up. It's called the Mercury, um, it's called the Mercury AT, automatic antenna tuner, right? Look at that. Everybody on the Facebook page or Facebook group is waiting for the, for the ordering of this and the display and the size I think it's the same dimensions as the height it weighs seven and a half pounds you can see right there and yeah the height is the same 5.5 in height it's a little bit uh, smaller in width at eight inches and it's ten inches long all right, so again, here's all the specs you can read on, read that. But to order, you go to products. And for now, you he only has two amplifiers. Uh, one that's already fully assembled and it's 2,800 plus shipping. And the one that you can assemble together, it's $2,500 plus shipping so right now if you're interested in that automatic antenna tuner it's not yet posted on his website and today is May the 12th at 254 Central Time as of today it's not yet posted so people are waiting for that I don't know if I should buy that or not because if I pair my Mercury 3 S along with my LDG 1000 and um, Pro 2, 1000 Pro 2, it should automatically tune also. So I'm going to give that a try first and, and if it works, well I don't need to order the antenna tuner from Kenny, the Mercury AT. So how do we order one? easy you go to the product you click on buy you put in your amateur radio call sign your email any comments that you want and then you submit that request all right guys I want to disclose my email so when I made that request uh, it's right here you see it says December 27th in the morning all right I sent an email and now Angel responds on the 30th. So Angel responds on the 30th. 27, 28, 29, 30. Only three days. I know they're, they're busy, okay? They got, they, 
they got a lot of customers are hearing about the mercury and, and they're ordering it so those guys are busy all right so then there's the long wait from from when I emailed it at the end of December January February March April May five months later here's May 5th at 9 in the morning hi your turn on the list if you're still interested in purchasing the Mercury 3 kit or fully assembled, you get a reply to that email. All right, so you get a reply. Once he replies, he's going to send you a PayPal link. And then after that PayPal link, then you can make that purchase. So it took me about five months from the time of me requesting my interest and now I put my down payment of $1,200. Now, I don't know how long it takes to get, it could be two months uh, or, or, or less or greater, plus or minus, I don't know. If you wanna check or track your order, you go back to the KM3, KM website and you plug in your call sign in here and you do a search, bam, there it is my kits in production all right and it tells you right here and i can get it as late as august so we're at may now may june july august we could plan on three months i think or sooner well guys i hope you really enjoyed my video i'm very excited to be on the list and put my down payment for one so now the long wait is ahead of me, but hey, I'm not in a hurry right now. I'm always uh, working or with my family, but it is nice to have a beautiful amplifier in your ham shack. Hey guys, my name is Captain Darren, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. My call sign is N4VFR. Until next video, have a great day.